y'all so i know i look a mess but we're doing a wig install today so uh i've already done the glue down as far as my wig cap goes um usually i use a hd uh wig cap but i didn't have any and i have so many of the regular kind so now's the time to figure out if whether or not i can use it or not like because wig cap is getting a little expensive and it's adding up and i got all the the regular kind just sitting out like these are right here just sit in, sit in my wig closet. So, we're gonna try this and, and see how it work out. So first, what I'm gonna do is cut this off. I've let the glue dry down. I did a couple of things and um, I let it dry down. Let's see. And I put, uh, what is it, makeup on it. Ooh. Yeah, I put makeup on it first. Cause I just had, like, I really just want this to to turn out right. I need for this to turn out exactly how I need it to turn out. Cause I know. So today, but also, but what I'm doing today is a twenty number twenty seven. I've never had that one. As my mama call it, black people blonde. <laughs> black people blonde. Okay, so it don't look too, too bad. So, yeah, it don't look bad, it don't look bad. Not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, um, use these, these alcohol pads. So I'm going to be using the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive in Watermelon. I'm going to use just one layer. I don't plan on having on this wig no time at all. Like tonight and tomorrow. Because <laughs> I, I got like a couple more weeks that I got to do. So I won't have this wig on long. Like I got my nails peeling already. So um. And I'm not, I don't like, I feel like it's more work with the spray. So, I just use the glue and call it a day. Okay. And I just spread it out. I might do two, but I don't know. I'll let y'all know what I do. So some of it I spread out on my skin. I did not wipe my face with alcohol pads. I'm not gonna have it all long, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna have it all long, it's fine. I, I forgot to wipe my face. But usually if I, I've noticed when I do prep my skin, like my, my forehead with the alcohol pads, my wig lasts a whole lot longer. Cause I know a lot of people they be like, like some people say it, it, it makes the, um, makes it not stick as, stick as good when you use the alcohol. And then some people say, yeah, you need to use the alcohol. I, in, in this 100 degree weather, the last week that I had on, it, it lasted like a good bit of days. I used like three. I wasn't even expecting for it to last that many days. I was I was expecting for it to come up. So put put down the layer. And let it let it dry down a little bit. This is the wig. The wig. So I'm gonna cut this in. It ain't gonna be two parts, but y'all gonna see me tomorrow. Y'all see me tomorrow. Cause I've noticed like when I just, you know, let it marinate, let let it, let it get, get just right. She, she be that girl. She's that girl. 
So that's what I'm gonna stick with. Can't believe it came up. Yeah, you know, can't see my nails. They look they look a little crazy. But yeah, like it's a 13 by 6. I I don't like how these sides be like they be skimping like what a side. So then I'ma put on the screen my inspiration of what I'm going to be doing today. What I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, let's see. Draw it down a good bit. I think I need some more. One, one. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Like I need, I need it to at least last long enough for me to go to bed, get back up, do my makeup. I got a client in the morning, so yeah, do my client and then um, get it together. I need it, I need it to at least do that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to spread it out a little bit more. And as Erica J said, let it dry for like two minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. So usually what I do is fold one side back and do one side at a time. I, I don't feel like doing this again. Oh, this week ain't that bad. This week ain't that bad. Okay. Get into it. That's what I'm talking about. I've been wasting all my money on weed caps and I ain't have to. So that's what I be talking about. Y'all be telling people y'all that we need stuff and we don't actually be needing it. Cause ain't no way. Oh, this about to eat. This about to eat. Oh, I know. Have y'all ever put on a wig and you you knew it was about it was about to be you was about to be that girl? Yeah, this this the one. So then I take, after I rub, rub it in, rub it in, I like take my hands. I don't know what to do, but it, it just, it just give me an extra set of security. It just make me feel like it's gone. It gonna give me a little razzle dazzle. It just gonna make it so much more secured. I don't know if it helps, but yeah, we gonna, we gonna keep doing that. And then I take my blow dryer on the cool setting and I comb it through. And then I'm scared. I'm scared. It's gonna mess it up. But I think this is what helped me last time when I use this right here. I think it, it helped out a lot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Is is this really necessary? If I know, I'm gonna take it off tomorrow. Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's really necessary, but. Okay.
it. Put the band on. Let it melt. Let it melt. And I'm gonna cut this excess lace off because it's gonna dry me. It's gonna dry me insane. Just let it melt until I go to bed. Let me go ahead and cut this piece off. This, that's not necessary to be here. until I go to bed so it is eight o'clock um I'm probably okay so it's the next day let's see how it turned out I said I was gonna turn take off that um band but it wouldn't hurt my ear so Ooh. It will not hurt my ears, so I wasn't tripping. I slept like a baby. Let's see. when I had that white cast. Then, ding. Okay, there you go. And go back in. Some makeup. Mm -mm. Cut, cut some more out. It's a lot of laces left. Okay. See how that's disappearing. I'm going to do some baby hairs. I don't know if I want to do a side part or not.
thing is, is melted pretty good. So I'm still gonna put the band back on while I curl the hair. I ain't got my clips. I got in. I'm just keeping that sideboard. So I cut some layers in it. Yeah. Okay, I use my Chi curling iron. I've noticed when I do it this way. This curl. Ooh. Stick a clip. I know sometimes when I use the um what is it? The barrels, like after I've been curled it. It give it a lot of body, but I don't feel like going back down the hallway looking for it. So we just go do it this way. Ooh, ooh, what Did I cut it off? No, I didn't cut it off. I know I pushed something. Okay. Take it this way. Okay. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like what it's giving. I might have to set these. Cause it ain't, it ain't laying right. Ooh, it's hot. And tea. It's hot. See, and that's exactly why I like to, um, what's called curl everything before I put it on my head. It's so hard.
Nu pot dus. So far, I don't know. Y'all, y'all see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, it definitely. I don't know. I know. I definitely ain't, ain't feeling it. Why keep getting caught in the um? Yeah, why keep getting caught in the curling iron? I'm gonna turn it down. I ain't gonna trip I'll do it like towards the end. Okay. Okay. So now we'll go in. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is melted. Okay.
didn't even think we was gonna make it to this part of the video but we we did we kept going we kept pushing um so here's the pros and cons list um, i absolutely love the length the color it was absolutely bright vibrant for my first honey blonde wig i was pretty impressed with the color the lace melted beautifully into my skin um the all over look was absolutely gorgeous so my only ick about the wig is um if you have them curlers up a little too high baby it's not gonna go exactly how you want it to go yeah but um i feel like i shouldn't have to do that if it's being advertised as human hair but um I said all the, all of the, that to say um, it's not a bad wig. It's just when it comes to the heat, just be you got to be a little bit more careful. Um, but other than that, if you've made it to this portion of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check my technique. Uh.